Hi, I'm Chris Anderson, one of the staff team here at Girl Scouts Heart of Michigan. And before we get started today with uh, our special video conversation, I want to share a bit about an important holiday that's coming up on Monday. Martin Luther King Jr. Day is designated a national holiday to celebrate the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Dr. King was, as I'm sure you know, an important advocate for civil rights during the 1960s. He participated in and led marches for Blacks' right to vote, as well as many other basic civil rights. His activism and commitment to nonviolence made him one of the most inspiring and influential people of the 20th century. In fact, he won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1964 for his nonviolent advocacy for civil rights. Dr. King was a great champion of standing up for others. He once stated that life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? As Girl Scouts, we know that doing for others is incredibly important. And Martin Luther King Jr. Day reminds us of that. It's a perfect day to work with your troop or maybe a Girl Scout friend or two or a friend who can become a future Girl Scout to give back in your community. A few projects to consider include sending a note to a senior who may not be able to get out much at this time or mask making for people in your community. You might also want to consider helping to fight hunger with a food drive. Along with that possibility, we're going to take a closer look at an organization that's committed to the fight against hunger, especially for seniors. Let's give a listen to Ashley Appel, Outreach Specialist for GSHOM's Lansing Region, as she talks with Chrissy Thomas from Meals on Wheels, Western Michigan. Hello, um, thank you for taking the time to share with us a little bit about Meals on Wheels and what the organization has for volunteer opportunities today. Um, tell me a little bit about yourself and what your role is with Meals on Wheels. Yes, and thank you so much for chatting with me today too. Uh, my name is Chrissy Thomas. I'm the volunteer manager at Meals on Wheels Western Michigan. Um, so that means I'm in charge of bringing in all the volunteers um, in all of our different departments. So we have volunteers that are delivery drivers, that are helping at our pantries, that um, are helping with administrative tasks in our office, um, doing some at-home work. And when our dining sites are open, we have volunteers there as well, but unfortunately they're all closed right now. Um, so yeah, we have volunteers in all of these departments. Um, I'm in charge of scheduling them, getting them started, seeing how it's going, um, finding the good fit for people. Awesome. So you're definitely the right person to be talking to about volunteer opportunities. Absolutely. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about Meals on Wheels. Like, what is your mission? What do you guys set out to do? Yes. So we, our mission is to um, ensure that seniors are able to stay in their homes healthy um, and independent. So this is providing home delivered meals in cases or allowing for pantry um, access. And then, as I mentioned, our dining sites as well. Um, so we serve in those three ways. Um, the dining sites um, are more for clients that can get out of the house or have a caretaker that can take them to a dining site. And this is just an informal lunch site where they can kind of in normal times gather and um, eat lunch together, play bingo, all that kind of stuff. Um, but right now they are closed, but we're still providing meals in a grab and go kind of scenario. Um, and then we have our pantries. Our main pantry is in on Fuller Avenue in Grand Rapids. And then we have several mobile pantries that are open a couple times a month in areas that don't, don't have um, other resources. So that's for clients that can shop or that can cook on their own. So they can get $100 worth of groceries two times a month. Um, and that's fresh food, fresh produce, fresh meats, and then canned goods as well. Um, so that's a way to we provide meals for clients that can um, go places on their own or cook on their own. And then kind of our main aspect is our delivery, um, our home delivered meals. So these are for clients that are homebound. Um, so they may not be able to drive or have anyone to take them anywhere. 
Um, and these are for meals that are delivered to these clients to heat up in the microwave, um, or we have cold meals that are like salads and sandwiches that are ready to go um, right when you get them. So um, those are our three ways we serve. We wanna keep seniors in their homes for as long as possible, but we wanna keep them healthy um, so that they are able to enjoy living in their homes. So if, if they um, are coming back from a hospital visit, we kind of get them back on their feet with food because sometimes it's hard to cook right away. Um, so we have different aspects of our program that we're serving, but it's all revolving around food um, and keeping people healthy. That's amazing. Thank you for sharing that. Um, and so where exactly do you distribute everything? Like how far out do you go? Is it statewide? Um, just more interested in the location of it. Yeah, so and we are located um, in Granville. We serve Kent and Allegan County, West Michigan area. Um, but there are, we're a Nash, part of a national organization. So Meals on Meals America is all over the country. Um, and there are several different programs in Michigan. Um, they may not have the Meals on Wheels name, but they are senior services with meals. Um, so we are Wheels, Meals on Wheels Western Michigan and we serve Kent and Allegan. Um, our main hub is located in Granville and that's where all of our deliveries come out of, where our kitchen is. So all of the cooking and all the delivering and our office staff are in Granville. And then our pantries and dining sites are kind of scattered around um, Kent and Allegan County. Great, thank you. And so what can Girl Scouts, you know, of various ages, we serve girls from kindergarten all the way up to 12th grade, but what can they and their families do to help Meals on Wheels? Yeah, so depending on where um, the Girl Scouts are. So if there's any in the West Michigan area, um, we have opportunities for them to volunteer with us on site. Um, for delivery drivers, they have to be 18 um, to be able to deliver, but you can deliver with your family um, if you have a parent that would want to um, deliver with you or an older sibling. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of one of our main opportunities for people that are in the area or our pantries. Um, and then we have opportunities for remote opportunities remote volunteer opportunities that we've kind of had to shift towards a little bit more um, with the pandemic. So um, we have volunteers that are at home wherever they are um, around the state kind of calling clients um, as a well-being check. So we're not seeing our clients nearly as much as we normally do just to keep them safe. Um, so we're having volunteers call clients just to check in um, see how they're doing, see if there's anything they need that we can provide or just to chat. Um, some clients just miss talking to people and they want to chat with anyone. And sometimes when it is someone younger too, they kind of enjoy having a different person to talk to. Um, and some clients are totally fine, don't need to talk to anyone. It kind of just depends on who they are, what they're dealing with. Um, so we have a lot of volunteers doing that as well as making cards for our clients. And those can be mailed to us if you're not in our area. Um, so that's birthday cards, holiday cards, thinking of you, all of that. Um, we distribute those with clients meals or at our pantry with their goods that they um, take home. So we have a lot of volunteers kind of mailing those in if they're not in our area. And if you are, but would still like to do something at home, we have our bags that we deliver in. Um, so they're a little bit larger than normal brown paper bags. Mm -hmm. um, so we provide those um, to volunteers. They can pick them up from our office, decorate them, with a nice message, a drawing, just something different to kind of break up the monotony of the normal brown paper bags um, and just bring them back to our office when they're done. Wonderful. Those are those seem like great opportunities that Girl Scouts definitely I can see taking action and um, going for it. Yeah. So, um, and I mean, you've already explained how you've had to switch to being remote and things like that. So I know there are families in our organization that definitely ask about that. Mm -hmm. um, so thank you so much for taking this opportunity to share everything with us for volunteer opportunities that Meals on Wheels has to offer. And hopefully this has inspired some of our Girl Scouts to get out there and take action and help you all out. Yeah, that would be awesome. Anyone that's interested can get a hold of me and we can work something out. We yeah, really and appreciate it. how can they contact you? Yeah, so I'm working remote right now too, um, just to kind of reduce the amount of people that are in our building. Um, but I can be reached by email, and my email is kthomas at mowwm.org. It's also found on our website at mealsonwheelswesternmichigan.org. 
Um, there's a volunteer application right on our website. So if someone's interested and wants to get started, um, Meals on Wheels Western Michigan.org, there's a tab for getting involved and in volunteering. And then there's an application right on there that gets sent to my email and I can get in touch with the, anyone that way too. Great, thank you so much. Yeah. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and thank you for joining us. Thank you. Well, I hope that inspired you to work on doing for others on this Monday's Martin Luther King Jr. Day. You can remember your day of giving back with one of these special patches from the GSHOM Council Shop. And on a wrap up note, remember, you can really make a healthcare workers or first responders or food bank staff members day by making sure you're asking folks to participate in your cookie business with donations to hometown heroes. Thanks and I hope you have a great and inspiring Martin Luther King Jr. Day.